So today is Thursday, April 16, 2009, and uh, I got my haircut. What do you think? And I got my beard trimmed up. I think it looks better, huh? And uh, I got this done because I am celebrating my birthday on Saturday. My birthday is actually Sunday, but I'm having a house party here at the house on Saturday. So what you guys think? So this week we're talking about how the scale emotionally affects us uh, when you know when we weigh in, whether it be a positive or a negative weigh in. Um, my my history with the scale is a, a roller coaster because prior to my gastric bypass, it was a horrifying thing, um, and then after the gastric bypass, obviously it was like, hey. This is great, you know, you're seeing these huge numbers. Um, but let me, let me, I guess, start with back in the day. Um, in a couple of, you know, matter of facts, most scales only weigh up to about, what, 300 pounds, the ones that you have for home. Uh, if you want one that weighs more than that, like my aunt bought me one that weighs up to 400 pounds, and it was like 200 bucks. So, mucho mula. Um, and then what happens when you get over 400 pounds? When I was going to the doctor, uh, you know, to my doctor's office for a checkup or to my weight loss doctor, uh, the medical scales that they have there weigh up to, what, 350 pounds? So they have to put an adapter that will allow them to weigh more than 350 pounds, lets them weigh up to 450. And that's always a great experience when you're going to get weighed in that your fat ass is more than the scale can take, so let me put an adapter on it. Uh, so that we can find out how much you really weigh. Um, and when you're at that point, by the, you know, when you're at that, pretty much at the weight, you don't even want to know. I didn't want to know what I weighed. I had no clue when I, when I went to get my gastric bypass, when I went to the doctor, what I weighed. I had a number that I thought was unreal, and it was an unrealistic number that I thought I had in my head, you know. So then what happens when you're over 450 pounds? Now at this point you can go to a hospital and weigh in for, you know, they have a scale there that weighs just a ginormous amount. So, uh, and that's always, I'm sure, something that any obese person really wants to do. Um, and, or go to a doctor, like my weight loss doctor. And it's funny because Al yesterday was talking about what was your trigger for the your weight loss and for me my trigger for my gastric bypass was getting on the scale at the, the doctor's office and it's this big scale and it took it what like 20 or 25 seconds me standing on it and it working with a little light flashing telling you it's busy to figure out what you weigh and when I saw that number on there I was like in complete shock so I just that was that was my trigger I'm like, come on, I, I, let's get this done, you know? Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, of course, I went and I got my surgery, and then after that, the scale, the scale was like my best butt because it would show this massive weight loss, you know? 40 pounds within the first week and 100 pounds within three months. I'm sorry, not within the first week, within the first month. 100 pounds within the first three months, and it just kept on going, you know? I had lost like 160-something pounds within a year, and... You know, and then after that, it kind of tapered off, but it was still consistent weight loss, consistent weight loss. But now we're at the point where I'm having to work to keep my weight off. I can eat enough to put weight onto my body. Um, and I'm within the last, the 20% that I got to lose myself. And with everything that's been going on in my life within the last, I don't know, six months, um, that I have not, it's been the last six months that I haven't seen a consistent weight loss, so I'm going into the old habit of wanting to avoid the scale, because if you avoid the scale and you don't see the number, then there's not a problem, right? So, and I know that that's something I got to work on. And, you know, it just seems like I keep on putting things in my mind that, you know, well, I'm going to start weighing more consistently once I get into a, 
more dedicated uh, weight loss, you know, like workout plan and stuff like that. Because, you know, I haven't had access to a gym within the last, you know, month or so. So, uh, and they're total bullshit reasons, right? So, I know my approximate weight, because I've actually weighed in about two weeks ago. Uh, I was sitting at like 273, it's kind of, it fluctuates. And I, I know that, like, even while I'm working out and I start trimming up, um, my body weight just fluctuates. So I'll go up and down five pounds, even though I'll be trimming up and all my clothes will be fitting looser. So, more loose, however you said that. So, I guess I still have my issues with the scale. I don't like it, but I know that that's something i got to work on. So if you guys have advice, let me know. Um, one of the things I am thinking about doing is the, um, I see a lot of people on YouTube do um, your weekly weigh-ins. And I think that's a neat concept because it's kind of like a, a, a force you to, you know, when you're putting it on YouTube, you're putting it out there, other people see it, so you got to do it, right? So it's not like, okay, yeah, I'm going to weigh in weekly, but I'm not posting it anywhere, so nobody's looking for it. Where when you commit to it, people are going to say, where's your video on your, on your weigh-in? So, I don't know. I might do that. Let's let's see what happens. Um, this weekend, I'm actually going to sign up for 24-Hour Fitness, which is right down the street from my house. And I have a whole bunch of friends that work out there. And I think that's going to kind of help me. I need to work out. It's going to get me out of the funk that I've been in. Um, and I need to de-stress without drinking alcohol. <laughs> But, um, you know, things are coming down. I'm getting in a good mood. My birthday's coming up. I'm going to have an awesome time with my friends. Um, and I'm going to relax. So, um, you know what? And check out my personal channel. I'll let you guys know what I decide to do with my weigh-in. So, all right. Well, I hope everyone's doing well. Stay tuned uh, for Jason, your Friday vlogger. All right. Goodbye, guys.